we're going to look at how we can set up an R script to run automatically at certain times or intervals. Um, Linux and Mac machines already have this capability through cron, and this just extends the same sort of cap capability to Windows machines using the built-in task scheduler. Now you'll need three things for this. You'll need some sort of R script. Uh, you'll need to create a bat file to run that, and that's kind of like a program. And you need that so that the task scheduler has something to run. That's the third thing you need to set up the task. Uh, you can use the GUI to do that in the task scheduler, or you can run it from the command line. In this section, we're going to look at an example of a .r file. This is a script that you would make in R. This is one that's already pre-made, so I'll just walk you through it quickly, what it does. Um, this is a sort of task one might have to do where they will um, grab some information from the Internet, um, create a report, and then email it to their boss. So here in the script, we load all packages using the pacman package. Uh, that's currently a GitHub package. Then we set the working directory. Um, this just makes life easier for me. So um, here I'm choosing to delete that the file where I'm going to make the report in case it already exists. Then we'll use the R markdown package to render a um, .rmd file. Let's have a look at that real quick here. And here, uh, our markdown type script. Uh, here we load our packages. Then we're going to use um, quant mod to go grab Apple uh, stock prices. And we're going to chart that. I actually don't really know much about it, but this is a standard type task that someone may have to do. From there, uh, this render function will go ahead and turn the RMD into whatever report we, you want. Um, we chose um, to use a PDF. Then we're going to use our Gmail function from the Gmailer library, and that's in my personal GitHub repos. There's any number of ways to send a, an email in R. This is one that I'm comfortable and familiar with. Uh, there are better ways, though. So the typical type operation we might want to do or task we might want to do in R. In this section of the video, we're going to look at how to create the .bat file. What this allows us to do is to uh, connect the task scheduler to communicate with the R script that we just created. It's actually a pretty simple little file. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you'll see that the top says at echo space off. You skip a line, go down to R, CMD, batch, and then you type the um, file path to where your R script is located. And it's that simple. You go ahead and then save it as a .bat file here and now when you click on that it will actually run the R script like a little program of sorts. We'll click on that and we'll see it's going to do some things. It's created a reports folder here. It's going to create a report in there for us. And right now it's trying to, you can see the uh, prompt is open and right now it's trying to email the file to us as well. When it's done we'll know that the command prompt goes away, we'll know that the email was sent. Another nice thing that was created is this task.r out, and you can see that the email was sent. You can view it. There's the report. And in that .r out file, we'll open it up here, it actually gives you all the r output, um, just like as if though you had ran it uh, from the command line. And that helps you to debug if something doesn't work out. So the last step in creating a scheduled task on the Windows machine is to actually set up um, the task to be automated with a task scheduler. And you can do that in one of two ways. You can use the GUI or you can use the command line. So if you use the GUI, typically it's located in control panel. It depends on Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, where it's located exactly. Uh, security and system and security then go down to administrative tools and then you should find task scheduler click on that what you can do is go ahead and create a basic task call it whatever you want we'll call it my task press my boss and you can choose when we'll do it uh, here we're going to choose just one time Let's do it at 129 We'll say start a program, 
the program we want to start is that BAT file. Click Next. And it's ready to go. Click Finish. And then all you have to do is uh, wait for your task to be scheduled. It's 129.47. You can see the command prompt uh, started up on its own. Right now it's creating the report. It's done that. And it is now working on emailing that to us. So you can see this is the first method using the GUI to set up the task. Uh, we can see over here that it has indeed sent us the email. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to look at a method of setting up the task scheduler via the command line. And to do this, I have an R script. Here's the R script. It has a number of different information we're going to feed to it. Uh, we're going to do this one time. We'll call it my task 2. This is the path to our .bat file. And we'll set the time for 8.12. And we're going to feed this to system and the Microsoft prompt. That's what it'll look like. And then we'll wrap up system. You can tell it was successful. It gave us a success message. And when it reaches 812, that will run. While we're waiting, Microsoft has a number of different arguments you can pass. Um, we're not going to go over them, but just be aware that um, Microsoft has a number of different arguments that you can pass to the task being scheduled. Uh, one more thing we see down here. This control schedule tasks app, we see that uh, it's A12 and our command prompt just ran. And uh, back to this control schedule tasks, if we run that through system, that'll actually open up our task scheduler so we can look at it. And we can scroll down and see my task 2 that we just set up for A12. Looks like our command prompt is still running, it just finished. And you can see that the email was just sent with our report.